How's it going lads? Marshall here and welcome back to the Road to Glory. Now, I thought I'd make it a little bit different today. I had the face cam. If you want to see face cam in future episodes, just let me know because this was late at night. We have been smashing squad battles and we finished in a good rank. And so today what we're going to do is open the rewards. Like I said, they're not exactly live because I opened them very late at night just to kind of see what kind of prizes we had in store. Two mega packs. 39,800 coins from Elite 1 for a road to glory that is massive. So you can already see what uh, squad battles can do for you. They can do wonders. They really can. If you want to see me face off against Thomas Muller's 99 rated card, let me know in the comments section below. And if you do enjoy this episode, lads, because we do pack some big, big players that will help us in the series, smash a like on the video straight away. 1,000 likes is your target for this Road to Glory episode. And if you do want any cheap MSP, PSN, and even game codes, head on over to jdway.com, use that code M89. Every single link that you will need is right there in the description below. So straight away, you're already wondering, how do you have so many packs? Well, we did the marquee matchups. We did uh, the Douglas Costa SPC, I do believe it was, because the Lacazette one we did miss out on. So we do get some kind of, I don't know, gold pack. And I think it was a jumbo gold pack from there. And a consumables. We already opened the consumables because you don't really want to see that. So in the first pack, we do get Fabian. And in the corner, you can see we have 180,000 plus. You might be wondering, how do you have that many coins? I'll tell you. Well, the reward is one of them. We got like uh, a lot of coins from that reward, 39,800. But the rest of them are squad battles, catalog rewards. Uh, we got the 1,000 coins eventually. I'm just kind of catching up on the series. We had a draft um, loss, I do believe, after the win that we showed you the other day we had a loss we didn't recoup too much but we did get um like 10k we spent 15k on the draft and uh, got 10k back so it wasn't great it wasn't bad as we get a newcastle legend in that one it was the guy that basically helped us seal promotion or the championship in the championship dwight gill he's not exactly preferred this year which is a bit strange but uh we do get dwight gill and then boyan and uh, Duarte will go on to sell at a later date. So they're placed on the transfer list. And we have a few packs there. So this Jumbo Gold Pack, we'll see what we're getting it. I mean, I'm not expecting anything from these Jumbo Gold Packs. But you never know, lads. You never know. Because in any pack on this game, you could get very lucky. I've seen on my main account with the, the 150 packs or the 7.5k packs. Um, you can get massive, massive rewards. I've seen icons, I've seen Ronaldo's, Messi, Suarez's, Neymar's wants to watch us galore. So in this video, I'm hopeful, I'm hopeful because like I said, it was very late at night. Uh, my reaction to the player that we do go on and pull was, um, it was loud, it really was. I should have been recording that one. But um, next up, Jumbo Gold Pack again. Free rares. I mean, when I see the rares, I think, you know what? We've got a chance. We've got a chance as you do in every single pack. But when you don't see the kind of side of its shine, you know it's not exactly going to be a massive, massive pull. So in that pack, we don't really get anyone great. Herrera might sell at a later date. And why I'm starting all these to club, by the way, is because, like I said, they might sell at a later date for SPCs especially. So in that pack, we got zero rare gold players which I was quite disappointed with. We'll go on and quick sell those items that I've selected there because they just won't sell on the market. So we'll get the coins for those. Uh, Bird Staller will stick on the transfer list for him to sell at a later date as well as we get into the seven last packs. And we pick on the loan team the week one straight away. I was going to do the Jumbo Premium Golds. These are the rewards, I do believe, for pre-ordering the game, the pre-order bonus. You get a loan team of the week play every week for... I don't know how many weeks, maybe 20 weeks or 40 weeks, I'm not too sure on that. And you get 40 Jumbo Premium Gold Packs, which um, for Road of Glory, again, are very, very important. And uh, we start opening those packs, seven rares in these ones. I'm very hopeful for these packs. Can we get anything decent? The answer is no, because we don't get the shine on the side of the pack. That always tells you if you're going to get anyone decent, it's Uruguay and it's midfielder. He's got my badge on. It is Sanchez. He actually doesn't look like a bad card, but... Um, he won't sell right now. He just won't sell. And that is quite unfortunate about the card. Who else is in the pack? John Joe Shelby. So we've already got a perfect link in these packs. In John Joe Shelby and Dwight Gill. So we could use them in like an alternative squad builder going forward in this series. And if there's any kind of squads you want me to kind of build into, simply let me know in the comment section below. Because I'm always kind of using your ideas once into advance the series and advance and enhance the road to glory. And that is exactly what we will strive to do as this one is a boards down or a board pack it's german it's goalkeeper it's not neuer that is all you gotta see in those packs 
it's not Neuer because once you see German, once you see goalkeeper, your mind instantly goes, I've got Neuer. No, you don't. No, you don't. It's either Timo Horn or Farman or who else? I'm, I'm Tistegan. Tistegan's another one, but um, we get Timo Horn there. It's not a great one. It's not a great one. Uh, maybe like 1.2. To four two, the one point two to two k you will sell for, but right now we will keep him in the squad because he doesn't sell for too too much. But we'll probably sell him if he's like no use to the team whatsoever. Again, in that pack, it's pretty barren. There isn't too much. And in the comment section below as well, the day I want to see your pack look. If you've got any luck whatsoever, I've been retweeting them on Twitter and commenting on Twitter to some amazing packs. The ones to watch is the, in the two-player packs, which I've got to see here. I opened a two-player pack before. I would pop Bellerin. You'll see that in the next episode. I was very, very happy with that because that is a player that I, I would want and I would need. It's like a 20k player. Bellerin is a great player from the 2k pack. So, um, yeah, next up, it's the boards out. But it's a inform. This inform is Argentinian. Assad. It's bloody Assad. When you see Argentinian and Messi is in the team of the week, your mind goes racing. I nearly shot an egg, lads. I nearly shot an egg because I seen that. I thought the series is over. We've got Messi. We've reached the success. We've reached the top. We can go on into foot champions and go for the top 100. But we do get a sad in that pack. And I was sad myself because I didn't want to see a sad in the pack. But it is an inform. So that is instantly 10k discard or 9k discard, wherever it is. How it is, we'll sell again at later, later date. We get Lenglet. I never even knew, but his card actually looks decent. Obi Ang's in there. Again, he's always a decent card. But um, yeah, we do get an inform, and it is a sad right now. He's not really selling for anything. So like I did say, we'll keep him in the squad. We'll hold him for a later date because in SBCs, sometimes they require informs. If we've already got an inform right there, that is us benefiting from the series straight away. Benefiting straight away. We have the Mega Packs, and we have the Red Gold Pack. So we open the Red Gold Pack. This isn't from the Squad Battles Rewards. And it's nothing good. It's nothing good because we don't get the boards down or the boards out. So what the hell do you call them, lads? What the hell do you call them? But it is left mid. It is Dortmund. It's not Royce. It is Andre Schiller. I'll look at his stats as well because I was thinking, you know what? Schiller, he must have good stats. When you look at the card of Carrius as well, that's actually not a bad pack. 83 pace. He's got 82 shooting, 70 physical and 79 dribbling. I mean... When you look at his in-games, you look um, at the speed, you look at the dribbling, he looks like a very OP player, and he's definitely, definitely going to be a sub-player for me, unless I want to kind of flip him for coins and then advance the team. So we have two Mega Packs remaining. These are our Squad Battles rewards. Get ready, lads. Get ready. Because in this pack, we get a Boards Out, but it's a Ones to Watch in the next one, because we get Shinji Kagawa. I was good at lads. I was good at. I mean, you see the Japanese flag and it instantly says Kagawa. I mean, you, it's not going to be Honda or anyone like. It's going to be Kagawa, and Kagawa used to be good. Don't get me wrong, he used to be good, but right now he's not great. And for FIFA terms, he isn't great. But look who's in the pack. Our best friend. We packed him two times already. This is the third time. It is Leroy Sane. And he flips, he flips and sells straight away. Because right now, you can sell Sane every single time for 30,000 coins. It's great about the card. I mean, it's a good card. I've used him in draft. He's got a great left foot. He's great down the left-hand side. But right now, we're playing a narrow formation. I don't really need him in the team. So I'll go right in the 56th minute or the 59th minute, however long it does take me to get there. And I kind of gauge the prices. And none of the prices as I'm going through drop below 30k or above 30k. Well, you've got 32k and stuff like that. But I thought, you know what? To get some quick coins on this card, I'm not going to list them up for 31, 32. Because that could drive his price a little bit down. What I'm going to do is list them for 30,000 coins and get that profit. Get that profit straight away. So, we sell them for 30,000 coins. And he goes instantly, lads. He goes bloody instantly. So... In that pack, we do get Pastore. I was hoping he does sell. Right now, not too much. Not too much. So I will keep him. He's 83 rated. High rated. It isn't actually too bad. And in the rest of this pack, we do get consumables galore. Fitness is in there. We get... It's, it's a great reward, basically. From the, uh, the squad battles, that is a great reward. And we get some amazing players and some great consumables as we discard the Physio, I think it was. But... Like I mentioned, I promised you a one to watch, lads. I promised you ones to watch. This is the last pack of the episode. And in the last pack, look who it is. We get the ones to watch flares. Out comes the ones to watch. It is French. Who is it going to be? 
Taliso. Taliso is huge. I don't know what you're thinking. He's under 100k, but given one in form, two in forms, Taliso will go to like an 85, 86 rated card. Wow. Just wow. Because look at those stats. He'll be in Club 80. And when he's in Club 80, the kind of demand for a Taliso in this game, a Bayern Munich one as well, it will be huge. It will be huge. So I'm waiting until he gets an in form. I'm not going to sell him straight away. I was dumbfounded. I really was. Once I seen this card, I was like, do I laugh? Do I cry? Do I sell him? Do I keep him? I was amazed. I was amazed because when you see the French flag and you want to see striker, straight away you want to see striker because it could be Mbappe or it could be Lacazette. But we do get Taliso, and I'm very, very, very happy about that because in this series, I want to try and work him into the squad, but at the same time, we could keep him fresh for the future and sell him at a later date. But um, yeah, a very good pack. Taliso's in there. Sadini's in there. A French right back who, again, himself looks very, very strong. I do kind of see the price of Taliso right now because I was thinking, you know what? He could sell for 100,000 plus, but right now, he's got a buyout there of um, 80,000 coins that I did pass. So he is quite cheap right now, but given one in form, two in forms, like I did say, his price will rocket. Crondelli's in there, then that guy, Petrovic, Aguelo, Bunga, Chambers. Trash is um, trash. I mean, on this game, he's not very good. But again, we get loads of fitness cards, which we can either sell or use. Because I'm not planning on using two teams in the weekend league. And um, it might go against us. It might go for us. But I don't want to adapt to two different teams all the time, if you get what I'm saying. Because if you adapt to one team, then switch to another team... Uh, it's just going to get confusing, and you want to learn the ways of one team. That is what I'm going to try and do, lads. But that's going to be it for today's episode. I hope you have enjoyed with Facecam as well. If you want to see Facecam stick this series in the future, let me know in the comments section below. But we packed a massive ones to watch today, an inform, and um, yeah, walkouts plus a familiar face. Hope you have enjoyed. If you have, once again, smash a like on the video straight away. Straight away? Well, it's not exactly straight away anymore. It's, it's the end of the video. So smash a like, lads. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And as always, I will catch you all next time, lads.